Super Smash September! What makes Super Smash Bros. Melee unique? With the success of the original title on the N64, Nintendo and HAL Laboratory rushed to release the sequel within the GameCube's launch window. Melee came out in time for the 2001 holiday season and found its way into the home of many rabid Nintendo fans. Not only selling well in its initial year, Melee is the best-selling GameCube title and has held up better in popularity than both the original and its sequel, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Melee tournaments are still held all over the world and what started as fellow gamers just sharing their love for this fighting game, it has become a world-class level of esports, garnering more entrants and viewers than some of the most established franchises, and considering its near 14-year lifespan, Melee's popularity is staggering to look at. What makes Melee unique is how its level of complexity can display a player's mastery of the game, as well as their personality, which enhances the hyper-competitive nature of the game. Let's begin. It's difficult to discuss Melee without looking at its competitive following. Crowds of fans gather to witness the awe-inspiring skill exhibited by these all-star players. The competitive scene is a large contribution as to why this game is still remembered, and so much has already been said about it. With the mind-blowing amount of nuances to the game's controls, Melee is a science, and that alone makes the game different from any other Smash game. Wave dashing. L canceling, shuffling, jab resetting, and so many more technical skills are a big reason why this game is considered to be very competitive. The combination of these skills, along with the insanely fast-paced nature of the game, has been praised for how different the game is compared to other well-known fighting games. With so many skills to learn and execute effectively, it does something to the art of war that is Super Smash Bros. Melee. No player can truly master everything there is to master in this game. Mix that in with varying play styles and suddenly Melee isn't just a display of mastery, it's a display of a player's personality. If two players were to play the same character, they will not play or look the same as one another. Considering the arsenals at each player's disposal, players favor certain skills and moves due to how they prefer to play. You will see skills and combos displayed by some players that other players may never do, and yet they may all plays closely in tournaments. The fighting game genre is full to the brim with concepts and combos, spacing and pressure, and although many players study the game intently to find frame data and guaranteed combos, how they choose to execute their research is the beauty of Melee as a fighting game. There is so much freedom to the combat. Combos can be creative, stringing together moves, being able to move fast and effectively is only limited to how quick and precise a player can be. It's at that perfect speed where the game and characters themselves can't hold back players, but yet it restricts inputs to something that takes practice and familiarity. When one witnesses the mastery from players, it's easy to forget that Smash is full of just Nintendo characters. It's no longer Fox versus Marth, it's Mango's Fox versus Mewtwo King's Marth, or Hungrybox's Jigglypuff versus PPMD's Falco. Longtime viewers can tell the subtle differences between players and how they choose to play these characters. It makes the competitive scene a history book full of upsets and great rivalries, and you can see it in how they play. When players like Axe or Amsa play unorthodox characters like Pikachu and Yoshi, it brings us back into the reality that there are 26 characters to choose from and many go forgotten. This doesn't hide their skill behind these characters, however these players still plays really well in tournaments, and that takes practice. Don't be fooled by how much competitive talk is said around Melee. It may be off-putting to the casual crowd, but friends and fans alike will play their characters their way. It's what makes Smash the series that it is. It's not just that Melee is the most competitive of the Smash series, it's that it's the best display of a player's skill. Players will refer to themselves as Captain Falcon players, Sheik players, or whoever they choose to love from the Nintendo universe. But it is how they choose to play these characters and how much time and dedication they put into the game that defines them as players. The art of war has been written and discussed for years and it's true. War in battle is an art form. Understanding how to use the skills at one's disposal to defeat an opponent is a complex topic. Every fighting game, let alone Smash game, requires skill and mastery in order to win. But Melee is the sole game that not only takes a long time to master, but has the openness to let players be creative and express themselves through their character. And that is what makes Super Smash Bros. Melee unique.
If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos that discuss what makes any other game stand out, hit that subscribe button. And what's up, I am Youngtown. If you want to hear some cool music inspired by the Smash Brothers series, make sure to check out my channel, as there is a wrap for Super Smash Brothers Melee, as well for the newest one, Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U and 3DS. Thank you.